One of the most interesting drafts, I think, in modern league history is just now hours away. Andrew Callahan with Ken Gregan for the Boston Herald. And in the name of this draft, uh, it's Trevor Lawrence. It's Zach Wilson. It's Mac Jones, Justin Fields, and Trey Lance. All quarterbacks. There are question marks after pick number three. Atlanta at four could deal with the Patriots, or maybe they move up at seven or eight or ten, or maybe not at all. But for you, when you look at all the quarterbacks and where the Patriots stand, obviously still a needed Tom Brady successor. What's just the most interesting part of this to you that kind of you gravitate first when you think about what's going to happen Thursday night? Well, I think from the Patriots' perspective, will they do what they've never done, move up the board for a quarterback or even pick a quarterback in the first round, something Bill Belichick has never done, not here nor, nor in Cleveland. So obviously that piques the interest, and it's piqued even more by the fact that they, need a, they still need a successor for Tom Brady. Right. Sorry, Cam Newton fans, he ain't the answer. And hovering like a cloud overhead, lurking, is Jimmy Garoppolo. So I think the Patriots basically have to make their decision, make it happen, and then move on. Mm -hmm. And how soon do you think they need to make that decision? Obviously, the draft ones, you know, come with the first round with each selection that passes by. You can't trade up once the selection is made. But Jimmy Garoppolo kind of hangs over this because, you know, the market for him is going to be very limited. He's got a $25 million cap bet. He's going to require a restructure. And he has a no trade clause. So it seems that the Patriots have kind of gained leverage in those talks with just how public Kyle Shanahan, even like nihilist he was in that press conference the other day, mm -hmm. that like we're looking to offload yeah. him. There's only one destination, but they still have to agree on price and timing. Right. Well, I mean, the, the Patriots are playing a waiting game, obviously, because they want to, you know, they don't want to give up the farm for him, and they also want him to restructure. Yeah, it's going to be a tough call because they could also wait out the 49ers, who are, of course, going to take the quarterback there at number three overall until maybe minicamp, get him in here and trust that familiarity. But, again, timing is everything. Going back to the rookies really quickly, if the 49ers do take Mac Jones or Trey Lance, you know, that still leaves Justin Fields for the Patriots here. And, spoiler alert, I'll have Justin Fields going to the Patriots mm -hmm. in my final seven-round mock draft. What of the rookies in your mind makes the most sense for the Patriots or would be the most likely if Jimmy G's off the table? Well, I'm with you. I, I would go for Justin Fields mm -hmm. because, again, he represents the future at the position. And, you know, he's a, he's a uh, you know, thrower first, but he has the mobility that mm -hmm. today's quarterback has. And future quarterbacks should have, too. The Patriots need to get with the present, and I think Justin Fields is the best uh, option on that route. And if not, of course, the Patriots could stand pat when likely all the quarterbacks should be gone at 15 or trade back. And then in the second round, some other names to know, Kyle Trask or David Mills, Davis Mills, excuse me, or Kellen Mond from Texas A&M. But at that point, I think uh, the fan base will have made up its mind. Very upset until perhaps Jimmy G comes around. Still, still plenty of questions that might not all be answered Thursday night, but the big one will be delivered. Will the Patriots trade up for a quarterback? We'll find out with you. For Karen, I'm Andrew here at Gillette Stadium.